Okay. Good day, everyone. I trust we all are doing very, very good. Um, so, normally I wouldn't like to do this because I, I try to avoid anything that will make me look like I'm trying to chase clout. Um, but the circumstances surrounding this particular video I'm making is the reason why I have to make it. I just have to make it. So, last night, I, I had a dream. And in that dream, Mobad, the musician who just died, appeared to me. So, the setting was as if I was in the church I was born, St. Peter's Anglican Church, Ekman, Wari Delta State. So, it was as though I was in that church. And then there's a place I used to play with my friends in the car park. And so, Mobad came and stood there, just me and him. He was the only person around. I was dead and he appeared. And then this young man was crying. Ah, oh, God. He was crying and crying and crying and he, was, he couldn't stop sobbing. Then he said to me, he said, I want to tell you some things and please tell everyone. And I was listening to him. Then the first thing he said was, tell people that when they start making progress, they should not rush into building so the statement didn't make sense to me i was looking confused then he now tried to explain himself and he said tell people that when they start making progress they should not show people their building otherwise they will turn it to abandoned project and i was like wow then he said i wish i had somebody to talk to so in my mind, I replied, I said, but you tried your best, you spoke out now. And he said, no, I spoke to Tin Air. I didn't have anybody to talk to. Then he said, there was no mentor figure in my life. There was no role model in my life. And then he said, I wish I had, I wish I had a shoulder to lean on. The young man was crying and he said, I wish I had a shoulder to lean on. And the last thing he said to me, the last thing he said to me was, tell people that I wish before fame, I knew that the, he said, I wish, he said, I wish I knew before fame that when stardom comes, the people that come around as friends are not sincere. He said, I wish I knew that when Saddam comes, the people who call you brother are not sincere. Then he said to me, Femi, I wish I knew you. And oh, God have mercy. And then he was crying. He was crying and, and could not be sobbed. And he kept crying and crying. And he hugged me very tight. He said, I never had a friend. He hugged me very tight and he didn't want to leave me. I started feeling uncomfortable when he was holding my neck. I was hugging me very tight. I was feeling uncomfortable. And then suddenly something like a wind blew and separated me from Obad. So the wind blew and separated me from him. And, we, and the space between us was very big. But where the wind blew him to was kind of like a dark place. The place was not bright. So he was moving from place to place, he was just going to and fro, he was very restless and he was looking for a human body that he can enter, he was just going to and fro, he was very restless and all he kept saying was, I need a friend I need a friend, I need a friend and then I woke up please I beg you guys in the name of God I beg you guys in the name of God I'll never do this for clout or for if I didn't have this dream, God is my witness that I had this dream, right? I would never do this for clout. And I cannot claim to know the full, I cannot claim to know the full meaning of the whole dream. I cannot claim to know the full meaning of the whole dream. But you see, when people give themselves names, you don't know where the inspiration came from. That boy kept calling himself the light, Imole, Imole. Until today, we still don't know where the inspiration came from for him to call himself the light but the people who killed that young man actually put off a light Mubad was more than a musician and he was not going to end as a musician 
I strongly believe in my spirit that that young man had the call of God in his life. I strongly believe that they didn't kill a musician and they killed a man of God. I strongly believe that this was not how it was going to end. And I cannot claim to know the full meaning of the dream. But one thing I can say for sure is every single person around Mubad, according to that, my dream, every single person is a suspect. This was the interpretation I got in my spirit from the Holy Spirit when I woke up. It's okay to have prime suspects. It's okay to have people that, okay, these are prime suspects that we don't trust. But then every single person around Mubad, from his, I mean, every single person around him, from his biological parents, so even the person who is his wife, apart from that five months old baby, everybody should be investigated. Let us not be deceived. Let everybody be, let everybody be investigated and proven innocent. Every single person around, because the story is not clear. And Mubad said something to me in the dream. He said, I did not have a friend. I did not. He said there was nobody to talk to. So that, that goes to, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know, but please. I beg the Nigerian police, I beg the Nigerian government, this should not slide. We're asking for justice, justice for Mubad. I never knew this man. I never knew him. I didn't know Mubad, I didn't. I knew the songs, I knew his songs, but I never knew the name or the face behind the songs. But I saw him last night and he told me, Femi, please tell them. And I've done my part so that I can have peace. I've done. I've said what I have to say so that I can have peace. The Bible says, this is the condemnation that has gone into the world. Light came, but men preferred darkness because their works were evil. Rest on in Mole. Rest in peace, my God. Rest in peace.